Okay, we're going to simulate a, a normal flight, and uh, we're going to try out our smart glide today. So, we'll say we just lost the engine. So we're going to press our smart glide direct to button. Smart glide is engaged, it said. Our glide, our glide rate is set at uh, 70. And it is turning us, as you can see, towards Benton. Uh, if I go into the glide, it will tell me runways are 8 and 32. Wind is 290 at 6. As you can see, it's taking me right to the airport. While I diagnose the problems, if I can figure out why we, why the engine died, or why it's running rough, or whatever, I have time to do all that while the Smart Glide flies the plane. That's a really nice feature on a cross country. It don't do you much good if you fly low all the time, but when you're traveling, a lot of times we'll be up high, especially at night. Uh, maybe you know you can't. It just told me a Tenson Airport is two miles at 12 o'clock. So we're just going to let it go and kind of see where it takes us to. It's telling me the best runway is runway 18. Runway 18. It just told me I was 2,000 feet above the ground now. And it now says disconnect and maneuver to land, but we're going to leave it connected to see what it does. A little choppy air down here. Now it's going to tr start turning me. It's 
So it's turning me to the, we're at 1,000 feet now it says. So I'll go ahead and disconnect autopilot. And we'll see if it lands. We have the runway made, and we're a little high, so we're going to slip it. You can always lose altitude, you just can't gain any when your engine dies. So we'll slip it down here to here, where we have plenty of runway left to land on. And there we are safely on the ground. So that's what happens when you have an engine out and you use your smart glide. It brings you to the airport. All that's left for you to do is line it up and land. Hitting this tree, there's no way that it would fall over on the pile. We got Tyler here today. He watched my video where I fell a tree the wrong way, and he said, "You ever got a tree to cut? Let me know." So I let him know, and he's here. He says he can make her fall over on the pile. So another big one. My saw wasn't big enough to reach through it. He got a 32 inch steel, so. You won't have any trouble. I think he's got her leaning his way now. The tree is very heavy on the the uh, left side as you're looking at it due to all the limbs and stuff I didn't think there'd be any way to move the tree to the right where it needs to fall on top of my brush pile there she goes yep. He sure enough got her leaning the right way. There she goes. Right on top of the pile, right where he said it go. Tyler the logger, right from California, fell exactly where he said it was going to fall. I'm impressed. I am impressed. <laughs> it was heavy. You weren't getting...